Kristen, you touched on inflammation mm. a little bit. What is that and why is that something that we really need to pay more attention to? Good question. Inflammation in the arteries <clears throat> causes plaque to become unstable. And most of us, by the time we get 50 and a little older, we're developing a certain amount of mm -hmm. plaque. What makes one person re uh, release that plaque and another person not release it? A individual who has a high uh, reading of CRP, C-reactive protein, mm -hmm. has a greater chance of disrupting that plaque. It's called vulnerable plaque. It is more prone to exploding, as Dr. Stephen Nissen had found, that it pops like popcorn. It literally can break loose at any time. That's the, that's the thing in heart disease that you can't understand. That so-and-so was in excellent shape, he ran every day, and yet last night he went to sleep and he didn't awaken. Disruption of vulnerable plaque. And now they also know that the type of plaque it is, is makes it more vulnerable. And also, while we're talking about plaque, the real high, when a person goes in and gets an angiogram uh, or a uh, catheterization, and they tell them that your plaques are small, we don't really have to worry about it. No, the information now says those smaller plaques are less solidified. They can explode much earlier than the ones that are calcified that have been in your arteries for many, many years. Consequently, the higher size plaques may be less prone to exploding compared to the smaller plaques.